Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading for those of you currently struggling to trust someone. We're going to find out what is their secret uh, agenda. Today is the 16th of June 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.33 a.m. And uh, Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Virgo's person, the person that Virgo doesn't trust. What is their secret agenda or ulterior motive? Virgo, this has got to be somebody that you really don't trust, okay? You have doubts in regards to this person. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between the two of you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be a Capricorn. I normally do romantic readings love readings but you can apply this to somebody who's platonic platonic to you as well we've got the six of cups okay this is what i'm seeing here virgo i feel like this person actually wants something so badly okay because of the nine of cups the devil in reverse something with you or something that has got to do with you or something that you have we've got the nine of wands here it feels like they are trying to either protect themselves or protect the things or you that they think that it's it belongs to them okay now we've got the five of swords here five of swords can indicate mind games manipulation um competition this person's secret agenda could be them competing with you or competing with other people for you okay bear that in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to apply to each and every one of you just apply accordingly okay and but if you want a more accurate reading that's tailor-made just for you and you alone a lot of people tell me that i'm very accurate you can book me all infos below Page of Wands, again, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I see a few different scenarios here. So, you know, Wheel of Fortune, something about fortune. Either it's whatever, some, whatever anybody thinks is, you know, when it comes to something that's valuable to each and every one of you, it's different. But there's something valuable that this person wants. You, it could be you. You are somebody valuable to them. Or it could be their freedom. Because I kind of see the page of wands as somebody who's free. Especially pointing towards the will of fortune. Because the will of fortune is like, it could mean travel. It could mean, you know, changing the path um, in this person's life. Or, again, it's like travel. So it doesn't matter. It could mean travel, but it could just be a metaphor. Like, I'm going to have my freedom to do whatever I can, uh, whatever I want to, when I get this from Virgo or with Virgo. The sun here is in one verse. Now, Virgo, I don't think this person's uh, secret agenda is completely bad. There's like something that I feel... It is something that they want, that they have this six of cups which is sentimental value okay so this person wants something that they they truly think that it's them it's the it's for them it belongs to them and they they could be also feeling like entitled for this thing okay for some of you it could be money or it could be you or it could be any anything okay their secret agenda to them in on in their mind is like you know, if I can have it, which I think is it belongs to me anyways, with the Nine of Cups right here. And because the Six of Cups is like, 
something from you know from a long time ago um if it's you then Virgo their secret agenda will be like you belong to them so they will lie they will do whatever it takes or manipulate you in order to have you in your life unless it's something if it's platonic it can be anything but it just feels like generally it's, it just feels like this person's secret agenda to them it's more like this is mine this is mine to begin with so i will do whatever it takes to have it so then i can feel good so or so that i can um go somewhere use it And then we've got the death and then the eight of swords in one first eight of pentacles and we're gonna pull out more cards Virgo again if you'd like to book me for personal reading all info is below see the fool i'm not even surprised to see the fool for some reason their secret agenda is like once i take everything that i think belongs to me it's mine then i will be free It could also be a person. For some of you, it's like, this person is mine. It's not yours. Or you are mine, not theirs. Or this money is mine, not yours. Or this car, or this something, whatever, whatever it is that's valuable to them. Okay, Virgo, the strength here could indicate maybe this person could be a Leo. Again, could be an Aries, could be any sign, Scorpio, okay. So you, there is always <clears throat> a reason why somebody doesn't trust somebody. It could be your ulterior motive. I mean, it could be your intuition talking, or it could be because of certain signs that you have seen, red flags, or for some, sometimes it's from your trauma. Okay, sometimes we are extra guarded, like the nine of wands here, because we don't want to get hurt again. Now again, this reading is for those of you if you really don't trust this person, okay? And Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups, Devil in reverse. It could also mean that maybe they've known this person for a long time or it may involve children. So another scenario I'm seeing here is that um, this person may want your children. This could be an ex. This could be somebody you were married to or have children with or your person maybe has, you know, an affair or has somebody else and this person wants to... Um, be nice to your children. Again, this is very specific. It's not for all of you. Because, you know, they want to prove something. Five of Swords. Now, the devil in reverse could mean also that they want, their secret agenda would be wanting you to disconnect from something that they believe, you know, is wrong. Especially this part, I'm hearing another story here. Especially, say, for example, Virgo, if you're currently seeing someone or dating someone, this other person, this other person's ulterior motive would be, or secret agenda would be to break you up with that person. Either because they want that person for themselves or they want you for themselves. Okay. See, there's a death here. So it could mean like wanting to sabotage your connection with someone or sabotage the situation so that it would end and then they're going to get what they want to make you unhappy or to make the other person unhappy and the strength here also can indicate they could be treading very carefully very diplomatic Very sneaky energy, to be honest, uh, Virgo. But again, it comes back to that feeling of like, but this is mine or this is mine, it's not yours. You know, I deserve this. You don't deserve this because you are this and that. Whether they think that of you or think that of someone else, someone else is connected to you, okay? Eight of Swords and one first. I feel like this is, the secret agenda would be like finally breaking or breaking free wanting to break something or wanting to break free to 
See, Nine of Pentacles and Love First and Four of Pentacles. See, this is like, it's mine, mine, mine. It's not yours. So either give it back or give it to me. Now again, Virgo, some of you is related to money. Some of you is related to a romantic connection or some sort of rivalry, competition. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. Um, <clears throat> I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. My apologies for the way I sound. I've been sounding this way for like a week or two already um, <clears throat> because I'm still recovering from being sick. But... Um, and it affects my sinus and things like that. But anyway, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe anyways. It's free. And also, especially if you've been here before. And if you find this reading to be helpful. And also, <clears throat> don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time when I post your videos. Um, yeah, and I also have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. Um, I'm going to go live on that channel. It's paid readings only. But there's no specific amount. It's whatever whatever you can, whatever you want to, it's my way of giving back. So again, make sure you subscribe to my main channel and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time when I go, uh, no, every time when I post your videos. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.